Please go to elithecomputerguy.com and failednormal.com to see the videos that are too dangerous for YouTube. Welcome back. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to use a 16 by 2 LCD screen in order to display the temperature in both Fahrenheit and Celsius from an analog temperature sensor. What this is going to teach you how to do is this is going to teach you how to bring in data from a sensor and then be able to display both static and dynamic text on an LCD screen. So what's gonna happen is the voltage is gonna be read off of this thing. We're gonna turn that voltage into both a Celsius and a Fahrenheit temperature. We are then going to say temp in F and then give the value for the temperature F uh, variable. Then we're going to do temp in C. And we're going to give the value for the temperature C variable. So this allows you to be able to bring in information from a sensor and then be able to print it out on an LCD screen in a way that may be valuable to you. So with this, let's go over to the workbench. I will show you the components you need for this particular project. Then we'll go to the code. Then we'll put it all together and show you how it works. So here are the major components that we need for this particular project. We have our 16 by 12 LCD screen. We, of course, we have our Arduino Uno board. Now again, most Arduino boards should be able to work with this project, but we are going to need a lot of digital pins in order to make the LCD screen work. Uh, so that's the only place where you may run into issues if you're using a smaller Uno board. Uh, beyond that, of course, we need our little analog temperature sensor. We then need a potentiometer. The potentiometer is used essentially for contrast on the LCD screen. We need one uh, 220, uh, 220 ohm resistor, again for the LCD screen, and we need a nice breadboard uh, to put all this together. So this, in this particular project, you actually do need a full-size breadboard versus a small breadboard because we need a lot of room in order to build this, this thing. So with that, we take a look at what the project looks like when it's all built. And basically what we have here is the standard LCD screen project. So everything here and above is the standard LCD screen project. And then down here, all we've done is added a tiny little uh, analog temperature sensor. We've added the output from the temperature sensor to go over to the analog port over here. And this is basically what we've got. Again, if you need to figure out how to set up the LCD screen, we have a class on the LCD screen. So go take that class. There's a whole bunch. They've got, uh, what is it? They've got six different um, digital wires that go to it, plus a whole other, uh, a lot of other things that are going on. So we won't go into that today. Basically, what we're looking at, the additional component of this project, is we're simply adding the analog sensor. Again, remember, when you're looking at the analog sensor, if the flat side is towards you, it's towards you, then the left-hand side, the left-hand side, that's positive, the right-hand side is negative, and the center pin, that is for the signal, that again, will go over to an analog pin. We have analog zero today. If if you swap the uh, the power, if you put positive to negative, negative to positive, you most likely will fry your sensor. So as always, buy your analog temperature sensors by the dozen. <laughs> that'll, that'll do good for you. So this is the basic project. Let's go over and take a look at the code. So here's the code for this project. All we're really doing here is we're combining the basic LCD screen project that we've done before with the basic uh, analog temperature project. Uh, we're combining those together in order to create this particular project. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to include the library for the liquid crystal display so that the uh, the sketch actually knows what we're supposed to do with that uh, display. So we do pound include liquid crystal dot H. The first thing we're going to do then after that is we're going to define the sensor pin. So again we have the analog temperature sensor pin. We actually need to define that for the sketch and so we're going to do sensor pin and we're going to attach that to pin a0 analog zero then we're going to go down here and we're going to define all of the pins that are required for the LCD screen so this is the single pin that's required for the analog temperature sensor all of this right here 
is required for the screen. So RS to 12, EN to 11, D4 to 5, D5 to 4, D6 to 3, D7 to 2. So these are the digital pins on the right. These correspond to the pins that are on the LCD screen. And so digital pin 2 will be connected to D7 pin on the LCD screen. Then we come down here, we call liquid crystal, and then we give it all this information. So LCD parentheses, and basically you plug all this in there, and this tells the LCD screen uh, where it should be expecting certain parts of data to be coming from. Then we go down here and we set up the environment. All we're going to do is we're going to do lcd.begin. So essentially we have to start the LCD service and then we have to tell uh, the, the Arduino board what kind of LCD screen it is, how big the LCD screen it is. And so this is a 16 column by two row screen. So 16 across, two high. And then we're going to come down and we are going to run through the loop and actually do uh, the code that makes all of this work. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is the basic math required in order to get a temperature out of the analog temperature sensor. So whenever we're dealing with an analog temperature sensor, uh, essentially you can copy and paste this code. This is the, more or less the exact same code we're always going to use. Uh, so we have an int for reading. The reading equals analog read for the sensor pin. We're going to then create a float for voltage. Voltage equals reading times five. We are then, for voltage, we are going to divide the value of voltage by 1024 and then set the value of the variable voltage to whatever the result is. Then we're going to create the temperature C and the temperature F. We're doing floats. Again, floats are decimal point uh, numbers. So 10.2, 70.35, that type of thing. Temperature C equals voltage uh, minus 0.5 times 100. And then in order to get temperature Fahrenheit, temperature F, we have temperature C times 9 divided by 5 plus 32. This is all just rote math. Again, you can literally copy and paste this. You're most likely not really going to change it for anything. Then we're, go we're going to do is we're going to come down here and essentially we're just going to print out those results. So we're going to print out the temperature in Fahrenheit and we're going to print out the temperature in Celsius. So we're going to do LCD dot set cursor. So we have to tell the LCD screen where we're going to start printing whatever it is that we're going to start printing. So we are going to start printing at zero. So this is the first position in the column. So remember, whenever you're dealing with LCD screens, the numbering starts at zero. And whenever you're doing the set cursor or anything else, remember it's column, column first, row second. So this is zero to 15, right? And then this is rows zero to one in this particular thing. So here, what we're saying is position one, position one, row one is zero, zero. Then we're going to do lcd.print, and we're just going to do a simple, you know, double quotation marks, temp in F space, uh, double quotation marks. Then what we're going to have to do, and again, this is where it gets a little weird with that also, the whole thing with setting the cursor. So we have to figure out how long this is. We have to figure out how long this is. And then we have to figure out where we're going to start printing the value for the variable for Fahrenheit. So what we have to do is lcd.setCursor. And if you do the math, you figure out you have to be in the 12th position. So after you do temp in F uh, colon, if you count all that out, all the, uh, all the spaces that takes, you realize that takes 11 spaces, then you need an additional space, you know, a gap between what you're saying and the, the value of the variable. And so that gives you 12. So again, whenever you're dealing with the LCD screens, numbering stars at zero. So if you want text to start being written in the 12th position, you need to tell it 11. So what we're saying here is in the 12, start writing this text in the 12th position of the first column or first row. So it's a, the 12th column of the first row. And we do lcd.print and then simply the value of temperature F. Then we're going to go down here and for temperature C, we're going to do lcd.setCursor. And so for this, we want position one of the column. So the column, again, zero through 15 or, or one through 16. There's 16 spaces, so that's zero through 15. So in the first position of the column, in the second row, so row one is the second row, then we're going to do LCD uh, dot print and then temp, temp in C. Then in order to print the, the value of the variable temperature C, we are going to go to the 12th position in the column 
of the second row, and then we are going to print temperature C. Then what we're going to do is down here, we're then going to delay by 2,000 milliseconds, which comes out to two seconds, and then it'll loop through again and again and again. This is one thing is uh, when you're doing these displays, especially with any kind of number that may, may be a little bit variable, may, may vary pretty quickly, you do want to put some delay in here. If the delay is not long enough, you'll actually get a blurred number. And the reason for that is the number is literally changing so quickly. Because remember, that this loops literally as fast as the Arduino can loop it unless you put a delay in there. So if you have a number that's changing every millisecond or every couple of milliseconds, the display is going to change every couple of milliseconds. And what you see as a human being is basically a blur. So you have to figure out like what you want the delay to be. I'm putting the delay of two, two seconds. I think that's very reasonable for, for a temperature project. So with that, we'll upload it and I'll show you the results. So here's our little project. I'm going to plug it in. So this thing has power. Okay, it comes on and ooh, look at that. We see temperature. So we see temperature in Fahrenheit, you uh, know, 65.5. And we see temperature in Celsius is 18.85 or so. If I put my finger on here, basically we'll see that the temperature starts going up. So again, about every two seconds. So there it goes to 66, there it goes to 68, there it goes to 72. And then if I take my finger off, then it should start dropping down again. So you can see that this is dynamically changing approximately every two seconds based off of the value that it's receiving from that analog temperature sensor. So this is just a very simple way uh, to be able to see how to display both static text and the values of variables using an LCD screen. Again, it's a nice, simple project, but this is one of those things that can be relatively useful. Again, if you just need a simple, just a simple you know, um, temperature sensor or whatever in your server room or such, uh, this may be valuable for you. So that's all there is to using an analog temperature sensor and writing the output to a little LCD screen. Now it is important to understand, you know, something to be thinking about when you do these Arduino projects is remember all you're using is just basic copper wire to connect all of these components. So you can do things such as put this into your computer case. So I know, I know, I know a lot of what the, what the cool kids do. I'm not a cool kid. I'm not a cool kid. But I know a lot of cool kids out there really care about the temperature inside their gaming PCs. Like if you have a gaming PC or some high end rendering PC, you may want to know what is the temperature inside the case. So a lot of times, if you have something like that, if you have a PC, you'll be able to read things like the temperature of the CPU, or you may be able to read the temperature of the GPUs, but you just may be curious about what is just the internal case temperature. And so one of the things that you can do is you can just simply connect this little analog temperature sensor, uh, you know, connect the wires. You may want to solder them, but you know, even if you don't solder them, just, you know, electrical tape at the high hell, tape all the wires to it. Basically, you can shove it in your case and then you can have a nice little display sitting on top of your case and you know what is the temperature inside the case you know those are the types of things to be thinking about with these kind of projects is just you know not not just the standard oh okay I now know what the temperature is inside inside the room but basically the idea here is hey you can figure out things like what is the temperature inside your computer case or your server case or other different types of things that's the type of stuff that might be valuable uh, and have you do a project like this. So that's really all there is to it. We're gonna be doing a lot more projects, especially with the LCD screen and always with the analog temperature sensor. I do have to say analog temperature sensors are just really great for Arduino projects. It gives you a very simple way uh, to be able to input variable data into your projects. So we're definitely gonna be using these components more going into the future. As always, I enjoy doing this video and look forward to seeing you the next one.